When people talk about SpaceX, Musk is the first name that comes to mind. Everyone knows him because of his big dreams and exciting ideas about space. But in the beginning, not many believed in SpaceX. Many thought it was just a small company trying to do something only big governments could achieve. Many viewed SpaceX as an overly ambitious startup, likely to crumble under the weight of its own aspirations. However, while Musk had the big ideas, he wasn't alone in turning them into reality at SpaceX. Behind every successful man, there's often a woman, and in SpaceX's case, that woman is Gwendolyn Shotwell. Though not always in the spotlight, she played a pivotal role, tirelessly working behind the scenes, ensuring the company's operations ran smoothly. Without her determination and expertise, many of SpaceX's achievements might not have been realized. Imagine if Musk was the one dreaming of a big, beautiful castle in the sky. In that case, Gwendolyn was the builder making sure every brick was in place and the castle didn't fall down. Before her association with SpaceX, Shotwell had already carved a niche for herself in the aerospace industry, laying the groundwork for her subsequent achievements. Shotwell's academic background is nothing short of impressive. Holding a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and a master's in applied mathematics, she possessed a potent combination of theoretical knowledge and practical problem-solving skills. Her journey began at Aerospace Corporation, a revered establishment recognized for its contributions to space systems and research. Here, Shotwell wasn't just a face in the crowd. She actively partook in technical roles, diving deep into the mechanics and systems that would eventually form the backbone of future space missions. Later, Shotwell made a strategic move to Microcosm Inc., a smaller entity compared to her previous employer, but one that offered a unique opportunity. It was here that Shotwell honed her skills in space systems engineering and program management. When Gwen came aboard SpaceX in 2002, she took on the significant role of Vice President of Business Development. Her position was no walk in the park. She had to bridge the gap between SpaceX and its potential clients, ensuring that the young company would have a steady stream of business. Every successful company needs someone who can persuade others to believe in its vision and capabilities. And Gwen was the person who did that for SpaceX. But the journey was not without its bumps. The early days of SpaceX were filled with uncertainty. Their first attempts to launch the Falcon 1 rocket didn't go as planned. Yet amidst the early stumbles, Gwen remained steadfast. As SpaceX's COO, Gwen has been hands-on in the day-to-day -day operations of the company. Under her leadership, the company streamlined its manufacturing and launch processes, ensuring rockets could be produced and launched at a fraction of the cost of competitors. SpaceX made many big steps when Gwen Shotwell was helping lead the way. One of the big moments was when SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft successfully connected with the International Space Station. This achievement highlighted the promise that private entities like SpaceX held in taking on complex space missions that were once the exclusive domain of governmental space agencies. Further solidifying its reputation in the space industry was the development and successful launch of the Falcon Heavy. When it launched, it was the strongest rocket in the world. With its ability to transport substantial payloads to orbit, new doors were opened for satellite launches and interplanetary explorations. But SpaceX's ambitions didn't stop at rockets or cargo missions. They were looking beyond the vast expanse of our solar system. The development of the Starship represented this very vision. Its design and purpose were centered around one of the most audacious goals of our time, making human life multiplanetary. With every design iteration and test launch, the idea of humans setting foot on Mars became less of a science fiction dream and more of a tangible future. Amid these significant advancements was another milestone that resonated deeply with the American spirit. For years, the United States had been reliant on foreign rockets to send its astronauts to space. This changed when SpaceX, with its Dragon spacecraft, collaborated with NASA to bring crewed spaceflight back to American soil. The successful crewed missions became symbolic of a new era where governmental space agencies and private companies could come together. Out of all her achievements, many would agree that the development of the Starship stands out as the most significant. This rocket is not just another spacecraft. When combined with its super heavy booster, the Starship stands at a staggering height that rivals iconic rockets like NASA's Saturn V, 
which carried astronauts to the moon during the Apollo era. Moreover, in terms of thrust, the Starship's Super Heavy is anticipated to outpace many of its contemporary counterparts. This immense power, combined with its sizable fuel capacity, is what allows it to target destinations as distant as Mars. In comparison, while the Saturn V was primarily a moonshot vehicle, the Starship is conceived to serve a variety of purposes, from satellite deployments and space station resupplies to lunar landings and even interplanetary missions. We all vividly remember the first Starship launch on the 20th of April, a spectacle that captured global attention and showcased the scale of the company's aspirations. And now, under Shotwell's guidance, SpaceX is preparing for its second Starship launch. Musk has expressed hope and excitement about this next venture, hinting that it might happen as soon as the end of this summer. While there has been significant progress at the Starbase facility, he has retained a cautious stance about this upcoming test. On August 4th, he publicly voiced that the forthcoming Starship flight stood at a 50% chance of reaching orbital velocity. This sentiment is slightly tempered from a few weeks prior, when he had estimated a more optimistic 60% success rate for the rocket's ability to achieve orbit. However, in this industry, even seemingly small milestones can be monumental achievements. For Musk and SpaceX, getting the Starship to successfully execute stage separation would already be considered a significant win. Outside of her direct responsibilities at SpaceX, Gwen has been a strong advocate for women in science, technology, and engineering fields. She frequently speaks about the importance of gender diversity in the aerospace sector and encourages more women to pursue careers in engineering and space. Her commitment goes beyond just business. In interviews, Shotwell often emphasizes her genuine belief in the SpaceX mission to make life multiplanetary. It's not just about launching rockets. It's about shaping the future of humanity. This vision aligns perfectly with Musk's, and together they push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. The anticipation in the aerospace community is palpable, waiting to see this testament to Shotwell's leadership and the entire SpaceX team's hard work. What do you think is next for SpaceX and Gwendolyn Shotwell's leadership? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.